Hello lovely, welcome back to my channel. My name is Frankie and in today's video, I'm going to be reviewing the Purology Hydrate Range. So I've been using this shampoo and conditioner now for about four, maybe five weeks, four or five weeks and there's things that I really love about it and unfortunately there is things that I really hate about it. So stick around to find out the juice and the gloss on those. Let's get straight into it. So a little bit about these products, the Hydrate range. There's not really anything any different from any other Hydrate products that you would see across other brands. They promise to add moisture, to add hydration obviously, to replenish the hair, softness, shine, all of the stuff that you would expect to hear from products that hydrate the hair and moisturize the hair. These guys have got it, which is great. I have really enjoyed using them and I do feel like my hair has been more hydrated and has been more moisturized. So that's a big tick from me. I can say that it is definitely a hydrating and a moisturizing range. So yeah, these two products, they are gonna give you the hydration and the moisturization that you need. So Purology recommend that these products are for medium to thick hair types. So I say I'm personally bang in the middle of there. I have quite medium thick, can be quite coarse hair. So I fit into that narrative pretty well. But if you had fine hair, maybe these products would be slightly too heavy for your hair texture. So one of the really cool things about Purology is that they have an anti-fade complex, which is actually patented. So. If I'm right, and correct me if I'm wrong, I'm pretty sure that means that no other company can use that exact formula. It is like basically their own and no one else can use it, which I find really cool. I know Olaplex have got that as well. So you know that you'll never find something as good or the same, not as good. I mean, you can definitely find something as good, but you'll never find the exact same kind of formula that they use, which I think is really cool. So they obviously really stand by that anti-fade formula. And it's a shame that I haven't colored my hair recently because it would have been really nice to put that to the test. But I just have been letting my hair sort of lighter naturally in the summer because I do think I want to go a bit lighter, but that is a whole other situation. I am just waffling on now. So let's get back to talking about these products. When it comes to the use of the shampoo, they recommend using a dime-sized amount and applying it to wet hair at the scalp, emulsifying it into a rich lather and working it down the ends. Rinse, and then for an extra cleanse, you could repeat, which is basically what I do every time I use shampoo. I always do two shampoos for that extra cleanse, like they've spoken about. I literally just last week uploaded a hair washing tips. If you guys don't know about um, extra shampooing, double shampooing, and the benefits of it, head over and watch that video. It's really good, really informative, and you'll probably learn loads of tips that you've not learned before, not heard before, that will help your hair through your hair washing routine. So that is a really straightforward and normal way to wash the hair. Shampoo at the root, lather it in. It's quite a straightforward description, good for everyone, easy to use. Foolproof, I would say. And now, we go on to the scent of the shampoo. It's personal preference, it's purely personal preference. And to be honest, I should have read the description of the scent before I purchased these products because if I had, I wouldn't have bought them because there is one ingredient, one scent with amongst the scent that I just can't, I've never been able to get along with. And it's really bizarre, it's like a family thing. Like my mum, my sister, I think like my grandma, we all hate the scent lavender and I just can't help myself. When I smell it, it just makes me feel like unwell, which has been really bizarre. So I've kind of been tackling this, like I'd say almost lavender phobia, <laughs> no, maybe not phobia, but like this hate for lavender, I've been tackling it for the last four or five weeks. And I've got to say, I do feel like I don't hate it as much now. Like I don't have much, as much anger for it, but I still can't get my head around it. And I'd be quite, I've been quite grateful for using another product this week. So let's just get to the nitty and gritty of this scent. It is lavender based for the shampoo. And I just can't, I think if you liked lavender, you would love the smell of this range. You would just, it's so strong. It's really powerful it's quite like a punchy lavender smell. So if you love lavender, this is the shampoo for you, honestly. It is 
blooming so strong the lavender scent so other things that are in there so let's talk about the scent i'll read it off from my phone so it's a californian icon emollient jojoba moisturizes the hair while green tea supports a healthy scalp and, st and sage stimulates hair follicles and it's bizarre because i can actually smell sort of like sage i'm gonna open it it's risky You can smell the earthiness of the sage and the green tea. Like you can, you get that sort of hit of, yeah, sort of earthy green scent, which I really like. I really like natural scents. And this is such a natural scent, actually. I will say that it is a really natural, it doesn't feel chemically, it doesn't feel over chemicalized or really fake it definitely does feel like you could sort of mix it up in your kitchen if you had all of these in your garden like it's really natural a signature aromatherapy blend of lavender bergamot and patchouli aids in relaxation and puts your mind at ease just like a brief moment of meditation and that's another part about the brand that I really love. I really do enjoy that all of their scents are like really calming or they've all got specific kind of things that they will help you do, relax, meditate. There's ones that are like quite invigorating that will wake you up. And I really like that part of the brand. I just unfortunately hate the smell of lavender and that is nothing to do with Purology. Like I can't even, say that I don't like these shampoos and conditioners because I'll be honest with you, I've really enjoyed using this shampoo and conditioner. The consistency and the texture are perfect, like my kind of shampoo and conditioner and I will 100% be trying other products that they have, other ranges, but I just can't deal with lavender. It's so bizarre and I hate myself for having this problem, but I literally cannot cope with lavender and that's a me problem and I feel like I can't, I can't say anything bad about the brand for including lavender, like that is just, it's a scent at the end of the day and a really popular one, like I'm definitely the minority for not enjoying lavender, but I had to say it, I couldn't lie and say, oh my God, it smells amazing, I love lavender so much because my mum and my sister would be like, you're lying. So that is a problem for me, but like I just said briefly, the consistency and the feel of these products is so luxurious. They are so thick and dreamy and they go in the hair really well and the lather isn't really sort of artificial. It's a really thick lather. They are really lovely products. The formula, the ingredients, everything is really lovely. So let's talk a little bit now about the conditioner because that has a different scent, which I'm also not mad about, but we'll chat about that in a sec. So again with the conditioner, it's basically promising the same things that most hydrating shampoos and conditioners promise. So it's going to add shine and softness, nourishes the dry hair, and the UV filter blocks 100% of the sun's rays, which is brilliant, especially as the weather's getting warmer. I've spoken about this in a video before, but it's really good to have UVA and UVB protectors in your hair care. And I didn't know that it was actually possible to have them in shampoos and conditioners, so that surprised me. And I quite like that about this. I, re I, I do really like that about this shampoo and about this conditioner. And again, there's zero sulfates and it's 100% vegan. And the ingredients list is really lovely. There's nothing that jumps out, um, nothing too drying. There's a few alcohols, but then there's shea butter, there's sunflower seed oil, there's the jojoba. So everything is sort of counteracted and balanced. That is the conditioner. Now let's talk about the scent of the conditioner. So I'm gonna pop the lid again. This is menthol. And if you watched my review of, what was it called? Oh, oh my God, my, my mind's gone back. Future, fu function of beauty, that's the one. So if you have watched my function of beauty shampoo and conditioner review, you will know that I have 
a slight problem with menthol conditioners. I just don't like the way that it sort of hangs around in the hair. I'm not too keen on that, so it's not for me. And again, if I had known that there was going to be <laughs> this was going to be menthol scented, I probably wouldn't have purchased it. But I have to say the consistency of this it's very strong. The consistency of the conditioner is lovely. It's really thick, it coats the hair, it doesn't slip off the hair at all. I've been brushing my hair in the shower and it really sort of spreads evenly across the hair. It doesn't clump up at the roots, it doesn't wash out really quickly. It's a good sort of all round strong thick conditioner. I don't know why they don't just match the scents, do you know what I mean? Because I feel, I feel like to me it's quite bizarre washing your hair with the really strong lavender scent. So like you're filled with that scent and then immediately putting on a really mentholy conditioner. Like that just doesn't, for me personally, that just doesn't gel. And I feel like when shampoos and conditioners have similar scents, then they kind of work together. But yeah, lavender and menthol for me just doesn't, it doesn't work. But again, personal preference, I don't really like menthol in shampoos or body washes or anything like that. I just think it's slightly too harsh and it just stays in the hair. But if, if you love menthol, again, you're gonna love the scents of these Purology shampoos and conditioners, so fill your boots because they are the ones for you. Again, it's really straightforward instructions, what you would do with any shampoo or conditioner or any conditioner in this um, range. They just say to apply a small amount, put it through the ends, massage it through, and give it a couple of minutes to sort of penetrate through. And that's totally normal, really straightforward. Again, we love to see it. So now we're going to talk about what I've liked and disliked. And I've kind of covered this a little bit throughout this video, but I'm just going to kind of reiterate how much I have enjoyed using these shampoos and conditioners because I really have enjoyed the benefits and I have seen the benefits. Like my hair has felt so hydrated and my mum came to stay and she used it and her hair was so soft and hydrated after using it that I could then see it was really making a difference to my hair. I was really then aware of the benefits. It felt so much more hydrated and so much more moisturized and my hair's even been curling better and waving better since using these products purely because I think it really is locking in all the moisture. So I really can't knock this shampoo and conditioner for doing what it says it does. It 100% delivers and I feel like it really deserves the hype around it. So who would I recommend these products to? I'd say definitely medium to thick hair. So they were 100% right with who they recommend it to. Dry hair damaged hair, coloured hair, definitely, like they say, colour patented, complex, the anti-fade, you're gonna get something from that. That's definitely gonna be beneficial if you're colouring your hair. If your hair just needs hydration, moisture, looking after, these products are for you. They're gonna really help your hair rebuild, regrow healthily. They're gonna add moisture, lock in moisture, replenish the hair, all of the things that it says that it does. I promise you, it does do. They are perfect products. It's just the scent, like literally just the scent. I feel like a broken record. These products cost me 34 pounds and 15 pence on Look Fantastic. I will put an affiliate link below so that you can go and purchase them if you love lavender and menthol products. These are the ones for you, my loves. You are gonna love them. So I'll put a link down below so that you can go and check that out. Let's get this hair out the way. I think that's quite a reasonable price, especially for two products. And Look Fantastic do this great thing where you can buy them as a bundle, so you don't have to buy them separately. And I think that reduces the price. So I think usually at retail they're 20 pounds each, but if you buy this two sort of shampoo and conditioner set, then you get them for just over 34 pounds. And I think that's really reasonable for what they do and sort of the experience that they give you and the moisture and the hydration, I think that 
£34 is a really reasonable price for getting really sort of moisturized and hydrated hair. So what would I compare these products to? And that is quite difficult because I really haven't used anything for a while that's as good. A while ago I used, and now this is probably years ago, and I haven't used the products for years, but there's a Kerastars range and it's like the Band Satin range. So it's the like cream bottle with the orange lid and then you can choose between like one, two and three depending on the density of your hair and how damaged it is. So at the time I think I had quite damaged hair and I was working at Tony and Guy and the girls were like, you need this and it will sort you out and it did sort me out. And that was quite a thick consistency as well. And again, you didn't need loads of it and you could really build it up and massage it through the roots. And it was such a thick, luxurious lather. Like it really wasn't watery. It was really lovely. And I'd say, yeah, if you've used Kerastars products before, these products are on par, but they are cheaper and you do get more of them. So you get more of it in each container and it is cheaper, so better value for money than Kerastars. So if you've been using Kerastars, then try these products out. Or if you've ever used Kerastars before, get online and have a look. But yeah, I think it's definitely a high-end high kind of brand. I think they have really delivered on what they promised and the price is really great for what you get. And I do really love the concept of their scents being really relaxing and calming and almost like, what's it called? Is it like aromatherapy where it's like the scents kind of guide you and lift you and all of this stuff. And I do feel like that's a really lovely concept and such a great part of this brand, but just not for me, not lavender. But I am going to try the Blue Range. I'm pretty sure, I can't remember what it's called, but I would really like to try that and give that a go. So I will be back with more Purology reviews. So I'm going to leave that there. I hope you enjoyed this video. It's a bit of a long-winded one, but I feel like I really needed to explain in depth that I actually have loved using these products, but I just haven't loved the scent. So I hope that you haven't made a judgment based on that and that you can see past me personally not liking the scents. That's all I want. I want you to know that these products are really good and I've really enjoyed using them. I'm totally waffling on now, so I'm gonna leave this here. I hope you enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up if you did, and I would love to see you next Friday for my weekly upload. Lots of love, bye.